There is perhaps no rarer sight in the animal kingdom than that of physics students gathered in public protest. Most can only be found collectively suffering the darkest and dankest of habitats, but today we find them milling about in the wide open expanses of the Loomis Laboratory of Physics. What are the demands? Why here? And why does my inner monologue have a terrible British accent? We are live on the scene of the Occupy Loomis movement that has currently overtaken the physics grad students of the University of Illinois. Spirits are high even as we're entering the second grueling week of the occupation of the so-called interaction room on the second floor of the physics building. I'm here with Barbara. Hey, Mom. Thanks. Barbara, could you describe the environment here in the interaction room? Um, well, I think there's a lot of off-diagonal elements, and... No, 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 no. What, what's it like living here? Oh, um, well, it's been really great, actually. We've got food, water. I think they were trying to poison us with the coffee. But we've held strong, stayed away from it, and we even repurposed one of the study rooms as a bathroom. You do realize there's a bathroom around the corner. I had seen enough to convince me that these students were ready to go the distance for their cause. Indeed, though hygiene was low, morale remained exceptionally high. But as I watched these poor disheveled souls stumble through their days, I realized revolutions are defined not only by their leaders, but also by their most outre members. We're here with Brian, who's been, who's been here since the very beginning of the movement. And uh, I don't think I got your name, partner. Um, my name's Dan. Nice to meet you, Dan. It's, it's nice to meet you, too. Uh, what's it been like living here? It's been nice to have the company. But how do you mean? Well, you see, Dan, I've been living in the hard hallways of Loomis for many years now. Sleeping in my office, the basement, anywhere there's a warm place to rest my head. And uh, it just feels good to be integrated in a community. Well, what do you think the community is all about around here? <laughs> well, uh, there's a variety of positions. Sometimes their points are hard to differentiate. But how do you personally feel about this movement? Honestly, Dan, I don't want to state my position. Why not? Afraid I'd lose my momentum. Hi, Hilbert. Uh, can I enter your space? Well, well, that depends. Do you want to be a member of a linear vector space? No, I'm just joshing with you. You can come inside. We're here in Hilbert's space with... Hilbert, uh, Hilbert, where are you from? Oh, well, I'm from Toronto, eh? Uh, how is the occupation going? Oh, I think it's been uh, really interesting. We've, uh, you know, proven that the students are like bosons, eh? Because there's multiple students occupying Loomis at the same time, you know, the same state. I think it's really cool. What brought you down from Canada, Hilbert? Well, you know, it's like simple math. Like, I'm a theorist. I know how to do simple math. Like, you know, 1% of people do like 99% of research, and it's just not fair. And meanwhile, the other 99% of people don't do any research at all, and they live like Schrodinger's fat cats. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Powerful stuff. 